what if i told you you could grow your account by 20 percent in just one week no gimmicks just a strategy that works all right so stick around and watch the rest of the video because in this video i'm going to show you guys how you can do this on a consistent basis let's go so what you're looking at right now is a summary of the trades we took last week from the 12th of august to the 16th of august so i'm going to break down all these trades right here and everything all right so let's go in our signals community right here so the first trade was taken on tuesday monday we didn't have any trade and this is the first trade we took on monday on tuesday right so what we had right here was a clean rally based drop supply zone with liquidity the market came into our area we waited for our entry signal to be actually triggered and also there was one important thing that we always had to wait for which is the asian session and once that was taken out we we're able to take this particular trade and this market went in profit we went in profit right here let me just show you right here we we're able to go on break even after that we saw the market really going all the way to this level right here unfortunately there was this level that like the market was trying to respond from and then after that the market uh started to push to the upside you can see from here reacting from this level right here and the, this is this is how we're able to close this trade at uh 2.5 r in profit this is what accounts for this uh result i've shown you right here this is the 2.5 are actually looking at right here and you can see that this was well managed we we're able to get out of the market just at the right time and uh, we followed our strategy simply all right and this is how we were able to actually make the 2.5 up all right the next one the next trade we took was uh this one right here gbp usd unfortunately this trade turned out to be a loss but it was a beautiful trade it was a rally based drop supply zone and then we had the credit which was being taken out right here the market came to our level we sold unfortunately this trade didn't turn out to be a good trade and then we ended up losing one hour on this particular trade right here then the next trade was euro nzd right here right here beautiful trade uh, we had a nice drop base rally with uh, uh, uh liquidity which was left behind right here we, uh, we had uh what we call a 3d drive we had one touch two touch and third touch right here and then we entered right here and then guess what this market went all the way to 16 risk reward ratio and that's why we we're able to actually make that and our target was actually like 1 to 30 but let me show you what happened right so you can see that after we entered the market really pushed the upside going all crazy like that and then what did we do we go we went break even on this particular trade and the market kept on pushing to the upside we continued to trail our stop loss behind structure you can see that the market was able to move we were able to move the, the stop the stop loss to this level right here securing about uh six hour and the market continued to actually uh, go in our direction and then there was news event that we we're expecting unfortunately the market slowed down and we kept on securing our stop loss and uh moving uh, moving our our stop loss towards at the high so that we can actually secure profits and then we, at this particular time we secured about 12 hour and then the market uh continued to go in our direction you can see that the market now started reacting from this zone right here and um right here we we're able to close this trade i had to tell the community to actually close this trade at uh 16 hour which is about 270 pips beautifully and that's what is accounting for this level right here the the 16 hour that you're looking at right here then the next trade we took was uh gold unfortunately this gold was this gold trade was really really nice right we saw a nice rally based drop supply zone we then we saw the market now coming to our level first the market failed to take out the Asian session right here and then it dropped and then it came back again then it dropped and then we saw the market now coming to our level and i saw this this was a really beautiful trade really big risk reward ratio 50 pips stop loss and a, a, a thousand and eighty pips target right here unfortunately this market has took us out and then went in our direction and we didn't really take have a chance to actually get back in and that's how we we're able to lose this particular trade right here we lost this trade right here i think i have a screenshot here let me just show you 
you must you must have the screenshot here let me show you yeah this yeah right here you can see that the market actually just took us out and then it dropped in our direction which was very bad right but i mean 50 pips was bigger of a stop loss so i, I mean I didn't, I didn't want to have a much bigger stop loss than that right and that's how we we're able to make like um i mean we lost negative right here and then the next trade after that was um aud uh swiss the first time we took aud swiss was um this one right here it was a beautiful trade as well we had nice rally based drop supplies on we had liquidity right here and then so the market was trying to create a 3d drive the market came to my level five pips stop loss and the eight pips target unfortunately this trade turned out to be a loss as well as i've already shown you there and then after that we also had an, an nzd usd buy setup that turned out to be a loss as well right and then the last trade of the week was i mean the second last trade of the week was aud swiss again we, we had an opportunity to actually end and this was a beautiful trade and like i made a video about it yesterday the market beautifully went in our direction right here you can see that we we're able to go break even and then we showed our stop loss as the market was going in our direction and then after that we the market we were able to close this trade after after realizing that the market was responding from this level and then we we're able to close this trade at 6 r all right the last trade was uh gbp usd really really beautiful trade you can see that we had a nice rally based drop supply zone with liquidity right here which was taken out a transition was taken out the market came to our area giving us a nice uh, entry signal unfortunately this trade turned out to be a loss like i've shown you right here this is all the trades that we've taken however like i always say it's never about the win rate guys it's always about the risk to reward ratio how much money are you going to make when you the trade goes in your direction that's what matters a win rate it doesn't really matter as you can see from here we we're able to lose more trades than we won but we were much much more profitable right so one thing you're going to notice is that our setup is the same right this setup is actually the same you can go back as as far as uh like you can go back as far as yes you're going to realize that we've actually mastered this setup and this is what we trade and this is what we teach in our mastery community in our mastery uh course right so this is how it is guys so but what thing you have to understand is that you need to have the confidence to be able to execute the strategy the reason why you keep losing money is that you keep changing strategies strategies after strategies one thing you have to understand is that you have no control over the market doesn't matter what how the setup looks it doesn't matter if you have 10 confluences present your what you think about the market doesn't matter guys it's about having a probabilistic mindset and having the confidence in your strategy to be able to execute your strategy flawlessly every time that's what's going to keep you in the game guys not knowing what's going to happen in the market because no one actually knows so your job is to just keep on executing the strategy that you've back tested that you have forward tested and you have the proof and the confidence that your strategy works once you have that you just need to execute your strategy guys just keep on executing the wins are going to come the losses are going to come but like you've seen right here all our trades have a risk reward ratio of more than 15 1 to 15 risk reward ratio it means that even if i lost five or six out of ten trades i'm still going to be massively profitable if i just get one winning trade and that's the power of risk reward ratio guys risk management absolutely important because you can have a hundred a hundred percent win rate or ninety percent win rate and that one trade that goes against you you end up blowing your account because you are not using proper risk management so i always emphasize this guys use proper risk management every time because you don't know what's going to happen at the end of the day so you have to keep on executing your strategy and you have to actually believe in your strategy because that's the only way you're going to be able to do that flawlessly making 20 percent is actually easy if you have a profitable strategy like we do and then the issue just becomes the issue of executing 
and like i always say it's always a process of the outcome you and i have no control over outcome no matter how much you might try to convince yourself you have no outcome all right you have no uh control of outcome so it's all about just executing all right so let me also show you uh the indicator that we use for the asian session i think most of you might have asked what indicator is that uh what indicator do you use for for the asian session so just a minute i show you the indicator and how you can, where you can find it and what its name and everything so that you will be able to actually uh insert this indicator for yourself as well so that you can actually identify this asian session and find out the fake outs and all that so the uh, the indicator is called the asian kill zone right let me just show you right now so you go to the indicator section right here go to the indicator section and uh type asian right here let me just see uh yeah even just here you can actually see it right so it's up kill zone right but if you come here you're going to appreciate it even more let's see yeah it's called asian range and kill zone asian range and kill zone so this is what you are going to look for just go on the indicator section this is going to be very helpful guys just type asian range and kill zone it has about uh 2200 ratings something like that users get that guys it's going to really be helpful in terms of you identifying the order the the asian session and uh, once the asian session has been taken out then you can actually take advantage of that so that's how it is so as you can see guys i show you everything the post like when you're in our private community i was able to actually guide you when to take when to go break even when to take partials and all that your job is just of course to just make sure that you are there and actually be alert as i send these um these uh instructions to actually follow right so this is how it is otherwise our strategy is the same our method is the same we have guys you don't need thousands of strategies you only need one that works enough for you to kill it in the market consistently so you can uh, go as far as whatever like whatever actually do me a favor check our youtube channel go as far as 2021 2022 you'll be able to see that we've actually been using this same strategy over and over which shows one thing it's a consistently profitable proven strategy and i've showed you the data guys all right so and if you interested in actually joining our m and f mastery course which comes with lifetime mentorship and lifetime signals check out the first link in the description and uh get yourself this strategy you're able to actually enjoy trading with us all right you guys i hope you found value in this video if you have make sure you subscribe like the video comment in the comment section until next time goodbye